Now today, I'm appealing directly to the rural MLAs, most of whom are not in my party, but are in fact in the governing UCP caucus, to recognize the irreparable harm that is being done to their communities, their voters. And this is the mass resignation of doctors that we are seeing from rural hospitals across the province. We know that doctors in Stetler and Sundry and Lac La Biche and Rocky Mountain House have given their formal notice to Alberta Health Services. They are the leading edge of a province-wide crisis in rural health care. We are aware of doctors in many other communities preparing to do the same. These MLAs represent areas where doctors have already announced that they are leaving or reducing services. They are Dave Hansen, who's the MLA for Bonneville Cold Lake St. Paul. Leela Goodrich, who's the MLA for Fort McMurray, Lac La Biche. Peter Guthrie is the MLA for Airdrie Cochrane. Nate Horner, MLA for John Heller Stetler. Joseph Shaw, MLA for Carson Siksika. And Miranda Rosen, MLA for Banff Kananaskis. No doubt there are other UCP MLAs who are feeling the need to solve this crisis. And as a result, I've written to the entire UCP caucus, inviting them to enact this solution within their caucus. If that proves impossible, I am offering the support to those rural MLAs who are working to stand up for their constituents, the support of our opposition caucus to enact this plan in the legislature. If your government won't stand with you, we will. I don't need to remind everyone that this chaos and uncertainty is happening in the midst of a deadly global pandemic and we simply do not know when this unprecedented situation will end, so people need to be able to count on having their doctors in their communities um, when they need them. Ultimately, each rural MLA will have to weigh their partisan loyalty against the urgent needs of the constituents, the Albertans who they represent. 